Last week, grown men flocked to Walmart to fill their carts with penguin plushies. Pudgy penguin plushies to be specific, which launched in 2,000 Walmarts across the U.S. The figurines provide access to a multiplayer experience called Pudgy World, which is like a 2023 version of Club Penguin. The CEO, Luca Nets, is responsible for another Walmart success story called Gel Blasters. And if this plays out anything like that did, then every kid in America is going to have a penguin soon. Something every kid in America already has is now being put on the blockchain. Pokemon cards, which are known for their rich gameplay and utility, are now being PSA graded, turned into NFTs, and put into packs for DGENs to open by a company called Courtyard. The pack drops are selling out in seconds, which isn't uncommon for Pokemon cards, but at least now, you don't have to compete with all the guys in Walmart that just want the penguin plushies. If you don't want to play with penguins or Pokemon, then maybe blockchain gaming is more your thing. Last week, Yuga dropped the highly anticipated Legends of the Mara, and then turned it back off again because it was a buggy mess. But hey, Zynga revealed Sugartown gameplay, and that turned out to be Geometry Dash with energy gambling. All right, at least that one looks kind of fun, and it was a free mint. It's better than paying hundreds for this, but it's not all bad. We did end the week on a 2% uptick across the entire market, signaling the official start of October. What a week. That's it for me. Be sure to like and share this if you found it helpful, and I'll see you all next week.